TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and Marvin Goof, yo. And we're here to talk nerdy to you, as we have been for the last 13 years talking about comics, video games, movies, shows, all the nerd stuff, because we want to save you the time. We don't want you to waste your time. We want you to put your time into the best of the best. So we're willing to waste our time so you don't have to. So we're going to be covering Rebel Moon Part 2. I watched Rebel Moon Part 2, and this is this goes back into We Waste Our Time So You Don't Have To, because I did not want to watch this. Mm. My wife didn't want to watch this. She was not happy about me making her watch this with me <laughs> and wasting our precious time that we don't have together very much to put this on. So, this is for you. Because it's even worse than the part one. Oh. Like, a lot of what they should have done in part one, they do in part two. And I'm like, should have done that in part... But from the get-go, you have this guy, horrible accent. His beard looks awful. His hair looks... Like, the beard looks super fake. His hair looks bad. Like, it's just... Everything's so bad. Uh, there was this king, and he's the guy that plays the Princess Bride, which goes into another show uh, oh. that we're going to be talking about. But anyways... Um, and, and, yeah, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, dude. But, yeah, so... It's just, it's so bad. And then, like, even, like, the, the finale or whatever that happens, like, you're like, oh, it's over. And then these other people fly in, and you're like, wait, I thought it was over. Like, it, and emotionally, you're like, oh, it's over, right? So it it was like, you can't, like, keep on when you already... It was, it's just so badly made. I don't understand how people are continuing to give this guy money to make these movies, because it's an all-original thing, easily based off of Star Wars, and huh. thank God that Kathleen Kennedy had at least enough sense to turn him down. She didn't turn down her buddy that made The Last Jedi, which well, I will say is not the worst Star Wars movie, but it wasn't it's the best, well, yeah, it wasn't well the best well, movie to put in the middle of a trilogy mm -hmm. the way that it, that it worked. That's all I have to say. I, I would have loved to see a, him do an entire trilogy on his own, or, or the other guy do an entire trilogy on their own, or both. Like, that would have been fine with me, but the way that they did it, nightmare. Anyways, this is a worse nightmare. Like, this is, <laughs> this is, it's just, it's, it's awful. I, I, and it's, cr it's sad because I've heard so many interviews, like, with the actors, and even the, even the director, and people that work for him, and I'm like, these are good actors, and these are, like, this is, and, and there's, there's good elements. Like, everything is there that makes me think, they like, want this to be a great thing, but then ends up being garbage just oh, because of the follow-through and just, like, it's, it just ends up... It just ends up being bad. It, 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 is, it is a pass. Don't even watch the trailer to it. You're still wasting your time. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely pass. So, we have our merch that we're sporting. Uh, I have the Fallout stuff which might be going away off the site after this month because we're going to be reducing our site to only 100 products. So this is probably going to be going away because this is merch of the month. After that, it's, it might be going away completely. I mean, if you still want it, we'll, we'll find a way to get it to you. We can make that happen. But it's not going to be on sale because this is the only time that it's going to be on sale with free shipping. By Grabthar's Hammer. What a saving. Uh, which is the... It's the vats, and then it says... So you're telling me there's a chance, like from Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> from that meme. Uh, so I love it. And there's all kinds of shirts. This is the tank top, and this is a small, which works for me. And then I also have the X-Men hoodie, uh, which I love, and, and it's so great. It's not too heavy. Um, this is a medium, and uh, it, fits, it fits pretty good. Um, and then of course I have the I have these Ninja Turtle shorts, and then I got my um, my Mortal Kombat socks, which I don't even know if we're gonna we're probably gonna get rid of a lot a lot of stuff. Like I said, we have to reduce our store a lot, so it's it's a lot of this stuff is going away. But if you want it, hit us up for it, and we'll I'll, I'll even hook people up with codes if they if they want. Just like discount just codes. message us. But yeah, just message let us. Let us know, and we can we can find a way to make it available for you to purchase it. Yeah, it's yeah. not a problem at all. I'm rocking my uh, Talk Nerdy to Me Ninja Turtles shirt. Probably one of our best shirts we have here. Live, laugh, love. Yeah. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> and yes, 
That is Star Trek font right there. And I adore it. It makes me happy. Yes, and we have other ones. <laughs> I have, there's another one that says Live Long and Prosper. There's also another one that has the uh, Spock quote that he says to, uh, to Kirk when he's dying. Um, so, uh, yeah. But I almost felt like maybe we should have gotten him the, the shirt or be like, you know what, you guys switch shirts. You know, like, because he, he, this guy's spitting the, but this is the ambassador. That's why he, he has the nerd knowledge. That's why we call him the ambassador. My so, parents are Trekkies. He's so, he knows this stuff. So, <laughs> that's, yeah. That's how I know. My parents are Trekkies. So you just have to know that kind of stuff. Growing up in a Trekkie household. Mm. So, but yeah, uh, and once again, you know, we're going to do the shout-outs. Shout-outs always to Atticus as our number one shout-out. And then uh, we have Amerame Media, as well as others. M M uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde makes uh, comics. They're phenomenal. I love their inspirational posts. And, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we have, don't we have another one that... Oh, yeah. Uh, we're... Still working on getting a collaboration with them, but the horror fiend. I was talking to one of the main guys that runs it, and uh, yeah, they 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 do mostly like horror movie type of stuff, and then they're gonna do a nerdy nerdy uh, channel as well. So it's great to see them joining that. Uh, uh, one of, one of the guys that's heading it, he, he used to work at a comic book shop, so I think uh, he's going to have a really good perspective on nerdy things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, remember, I, see, I feel like I see him at all the cons, too, or I usually see him at the cons. So. Well, for New Mexico Comic Expo, he was head of security. For oh, okay. Life. There you go. That's, that's why. There we go. Wow. So, all right, cool. I did fail to mention, too, that 5% of our profit goes to a charity of the month. We have a different charity of the month for the month, every single month, uh, for... Abril, it is Autism Speaks, and then for Mayo, it's going to be National, uh, it's the, the it's NAMI is what it is, but it's it's mental, because it's Mental Health Awareness Month, mm -hmm. it's related to that, so that's what we're going to be uh, donating to for next month. So, uh, I believe that's it for us, right? Yeah, that is. Alright, cool. So, talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Keep it real. Keep it nerdy, man.